Hey guys, Parker Chris here, and I'm going to be doing my Wizard World Chicago Comic Con. <laughs> so pretty much the this is all the stuff that I got. I'm going to show you every single thing. But first, I'll show you. We had a four-day pass. This is the bracelet that you had to wear. According for them to let you in. No tickets. They you just had to hold up your hand like that when your wristband was on you. Know, like that. And so yeah, that's the wristband. Next, um, there was this person that had engraved and painted Lego bricks for ten dollars. They would do your name. I go, so I got this, says Parker, which obviously is my name. If you don't know me already, you know what my name is Parker. Um, next, let me show you these cool buttons from Fandom Flare. It doesn't look like online they have a web store yet, but they probably will soon. And I got a bunch of pretty cool buttons and like, I mean like pins and stuff. So first, I got an Agent Coulson from the Avengers. He's holding a gun right before he dies in the Avengers, if you have seen the movie. Spoiler alert. We have Slimer from Ghostbusters. Dancing group. Do, 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 do. Um, 88 miles per hour, Back to the Future. I'm actually pretty sure it's 88.8 .8 miles per hour, but whatever. Just add water. That's from Gremlins. If you haven't seen the movie, spoiler alert, if you add water to Gremlins, they duplicate. I mean, mog-wise, but then if they eat after midnight, then they become Gremlins. Spoiler alert. Great Scott from Back to the Future. Great Scott! The Flux Capacitor! <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have a good Doc Brown voice. Well, I am good at saying Great Scott, but I'm pretty bad at the rest. Let me put away these buttons. I'll get into some of the really, really cool stuff. Actually, all this stuff is really cool. Um, why don't I show this? This guy was from Metal Souls. M E T A L S O U L S dot com. They have a really cool website. You could buy these. Handmade sculptures made from scrap metal. This guy was only forty dollars. It was, I thought it was a decent price considering some of their ones um, were like two hundred and stuff. This was forty. He actually had a Boba Fett that was like that was about that tall probably, and was forty also. And this was forty, same price, but this one was like twice as large. So, I got this guy. I'm gonna go on my desk at work. And there's that. Um, a vendor had this Star Wars Celebration from Anaheim, California. It was an event that happened earlier this year. Lego made an exclusive set. I believe there are only 1,500 in existence. And this is one of them in my hands right now. But, so, this guy was a steal. If you've been seeing these on eBay, they're going anywhere from $150 to $200. We got it $90 plus tax, but $90, at the end it was like $101, but still, a really good deal, considering they're $150 to $200 on eBay, there's not one that I can, like, find, like, under, like, $140, probably. So, got that. Um... There was this company called Put Me in the Story, and they make, like, personalized books. Like, they have, like, Disney ones and Marvel and all different kinds of stuff. So, then I got this free shield badge. Agent Coulson reporting to do it. And then I got this Yandu Funko Pop. Plus Stripe from Glep. Uh, Gremlins, I mean, Funko Pop. Now I'm on to most of the paper stuff. 
There's a really cool artist there called Drew Blank, and if you see, I got a lot of print, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but he is a really good artist. Go check out his website, Hero Squares, um, it, right there, HeroSquares.com. He has all these prints for sale, $5. This size, and if you want a bigger one, it's only $10. But, um, so I, he had, if you spend $20 or more, you... You could buy a mystery pack for $5, and you got 10 retired prints. But now I'm going to show the stuff that I normally bought, not from the mystery packs. But I got Groot and Rock Raccoon, J the Gigawatts, Great Scott, Marty McFly, Benny, Spaceship, 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 Agent Coulson, 1966 Batman. 1966 Joker, Ant-Man, Red Skull, Peter Bankman, and now on to the first mystery pack. Let me just sort it out because I got two mystery packs because those are from two different purchases. I'll be done in a second. Okay. First mystery pack, this was the best mystery pack, probably there. Nine out of the ten prints are Marvel. Marvel. Got Nick Fury. Agent Coulson. Black Widow. Captain America. Four. The Winter Soldier. Don't know what that one is. One weird one. Hawkeye, and Nick Fury, and Loki, and that is all the ones that are in that mystery pack. Let me just gather this stuff up. I did get one more mystery pack. This is actually from two purchases. This one I'm not really going to show you in detail because it is all not really my favorite. I got Sesame Street, you got a Star Trek. None, basically nothing that I like is in here. But... It's not a loss though. It's still a pretty good deal. I made my money on that that mystery pack. Again, over see. Um this is actually his business card. Drew Blank Artist Arter and Writist. Oh I, I see what he did there. Instead of artist and writer, Arter and Writist. HeroSquares.com and the whore squares. <laughs> so that's his business card. He has really cool prints. Go check it out. Um, this is actually made by a company called Unshaven Comics. The Samrocks. I actually saw Unshaven Comics at Free Comic Book Day this year. And now I'm kind of regretting not buying their comics. They're really cool comics at the show. So... I saw them at Wizard World. I just knew I had to try out this cool comic series, the Samrots. And if you can see, it is Samurai astronauts led by an immortal kung fu monkey master defending humanity from dinosaurs and zombie cyborg pirates in space. Mind blown. So, um, on the next part, this um place, they're actually doing tattoos there, which I think is crazy. Cray cray. So, um, the, actually, it's a tattoo place. You just have tattoos. Um, they had prints. <laughs> um, but it was $5 for two, and I got Funko Pop Groot with Rock Raccoon. Hulkbuster Funko Pop with, um, Hulk. Tom Richmond of Mad, if you don't know what, who he is, check out if you read Mad Magazine, check out, like, the movie and TV parody section. If you kind of look at this, you may recognize the style. This is a print of a comic that cover, variant cover that he did. And I bought this from him. Five dollars. Check by Mad Magazine and read his thing. He has prints and stuff I think on his website there, people. Um, I got this Lego Deadpool card. But it isn't a normal card. It isn't any normal card. This is solid metal. Pretty cool. Lego Deadpool. 
Plus, from this is actually from a different vendor. Um, got Stripe from Gremlins. Yum, yum. Do it pretty good. It's Gremlins voice. Spot on. Right? Comment below if you think it's a pretty good one. Gremlins voice. Actually, like this video also if you think that's a pretty good Gremlins voice. Um, I got these pretty cool prints from... Um, Jim Ferguson. Wait one second. I got, um, Marty McFly and Doc Brown. Got some Mogwai there from Gremlins. And Donkey Kong. And Jurassic Park. When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth. That's from the end scene. Um, and he gave me a free magnet with my purchase. He let me pick out a magnet and I... Got Egon Spangler from Ghostbusters. Next thing from Tom Richmond, I got this um, Mad Magazine I'd never seen before. Um, I just thought it was unique. I never saw this in my subscription or in the stores. And he had it there for 15 um, I bought it. Signed by Tom Richmond. Uh, this was actually free with entry. Everybody got one of these. It's like a comic. What else could it be? Um, Neil Adams was there. And he had actually, he had mostly superhero, like normal comic prints. But then he had Lego ones, which I thought were pretty cool. Got Superman. A Joker. And the second Joker. You're probably wondering, why two Jokers? Well, this Joker right here, we're giving away right now on Facebook. Go check out Bricklet's Facebook. You have to like the page, according to enter. You have to like the page. And, um... You have, and then you, it will be in the description below, and right there, they, they, no, in the description below, go check that out, and we'll, they'll have a link to the contest, um, and you'll be able to win this fantastic, um, print, and it is signed by Neil Adams himself, and, well, these two are, these two, you're not getting the Superman in the giveaway. Plus, you're only getting one. Just to let you know so you don't get confused and stuff if you win. Also, another thing from Tom Richmond. Um, he was doing characters there in Mad style. And we asked him to do something Lego-y. So we put Lego bricks around me. He made my body Lego bricks, like Lego hands. My feet are like bricks. It's just like awesome. And, like, there's me. Me. See the resemblance? Huh? 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 That's enough. Now, the last thing, I'm probably saying the saving the best for last. If you have watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., you know who Grant Ward is. Kablam! Boom! Autograph from Brett Dalton, who plays Grant Ward, and, um, we actually found this poster in Artist Alley. Guy only made 27 of them, he says. Wah. But then, um, so we bought that poster, even says Wizard World Comic Con Chicago exclusive, so I'll even remember where I got it. I have his autograph. So I think I'm going to try and get an autograph every year, maybe, at Chicago. Last year, I got Stan Lee and J. August Richards from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This year, I got Brett Dalton from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, what will I get next year? I don't know. You'll have to find out next year when I do my next haul video of Wizard World. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And good night.